No vote in the United Nations will make any difference on that. But this vote will make a difference on how Americans look at the UN and on how we look at countries who disrespect us in the UN. And this vote will be remembered. They take hundreds of millions of dollars and even billions of dollars and then they vote against us. Well, we're watching those votes. Let them vote against us. We'll save a lot. We don't care. Calling it a big step in the right direction, the United States Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley announced a historic reduction in the UN biennial operating budget. Haley said the plan calls for a $285 million cut for the 2018-19 fiscal year. The inefficiency and overspending of the United Nations are well known, Halley said. We will no longer let the generosity of the American people be taken advantage of or remain unchecked. She added, this historic reduction in spending in addition to many other moves toward a more efficient and accountable UN is a big step in the right direction. The UN budget now covers a two-year period, beginning in January of an even-numbered year. The United States was seeking a $250 million cut to the UN budget for 2018-19, on top of $200 million in savings already proposed by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, Agence France Press reported two weeks ago. Guterres has proposed capping the UN biennial budget at $5.4 billion, shaving off $200 million from the 2016-17 budget. Though the United States pays about 22% of the UN's budget, or roughly $3.3 billion, and fully 28% of its peacekeeping effort. The UN's operating budget is separate from its peacekeeping budget, which was cut by $600 million this year, under pressure from President Donald Trump. Trump last week threatened to cut off financial aid to countries that voted in favor of a draft UN resolution calling for the United States to withdraw its decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The final tally was 128-9, with 35 nations abstaining, including five members of the European Union. Mr. Trump dared the General Assembly to follow the Security Council's example. He said, let them vote against us, we will save a lot. Against you and then you pay them hundreds of millions of dollars and nobody knows what they're doing. So, Nikki, that was the right message that you and I agreed to be sent yesterday. And I've had a lot of good comment on it, believe me. People are tired of the United States, the people that live here are great citizens that love this country. They're tired of this country being taken advantage of, and we're not going to be taken advantage of any longer. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.